Good day, everyone. So this is the explanation for the computation for the actual cost, selling price, and the summary for the profit markup percentage based on the menu costing. So first uh, example here, we have the sugar as an ingredient. And then we use, for example, 5.83 grams of sugar for the dish. And then uh, for the price of the uh, kilogram or per kilogram of sugar, the unit cost is 50 pesos. So we derive the actual cost of 0 0.29 centavos. So how are we going to have that? So first we need to convert the price of uh, the unit cost into grams. So as we all know, there are 1000 grams into one kilogram. So we will just divide 50 pesos into 1000. So we have the price of sugar per gram of 0 0.05 centavo. And then we will uh, multiply it to the quantity used, which is 5.83. So 0 0.05 times 5.83 is equals to 0 0.2915. So this can be rounded off into 0 0.29 centavo. Okay, so that's it for the computation of the actual cost with conversion. And then for an instance, we do not need to convert. Now, for example, we have here pepper. Okay. And then uh, for the pepper, we only use one and the price per pepper is five pesos per piece. So we will just multiply. So five times one is equals to five. So that's five pesos. Okay, so that's it for the uh, computation of the actual cost without conversion. Okay. Next, uh, we have the selling price computation. So for the selling price, we will use the markup percentage ceiling for food. So for our discussion, we have uh, discussed that we will going to have 300% markup percentage for food. So we will, uh, in order to get the uh, selling price, we will just multiply 300% to the actual price. Or the total cost. So the total cost is the total amount of the ingredients that you use based on the, its actual cost. Okay. So per this is per dish. Okay. So the total cost of the ingredients of a certain dish. Now, so before you multiply the uh, markup percentage, you need to convert this to decimal form. So in this case, this is 3.00 or 3 as a whole number. Okay. And then uh, you will multiply this into the actual cost. So 3 times 171.26. So we have the markup price or amount of 531.78. And then this, this is the time that we will add this to the actual price in order to get the selling price for the whole pizza for this example. So again, we will um, add... So for the formula, actual price, actual total cost, or actual price, plus the markup amount. No, So this is markup amount. Okay, so we have here 513 plus 171.26. So we have 685.04. Okay, so 171.26 plus 513.78. So we have this. Total, okay. And then for the uh, per. Okay. For the per uh, slice, you just need to divide 513 into 8. I sorry, 685.04 into 8. No, so six we have 85.63. Okay, for the per slice amount. And then for the actual selling price, this is the price that you are going to offer for your guests or for your customers. So you can round up or round down. So with this case, we rounded down. So 685 is the actual price for the whole pizza. And for the slice pizza, or for slice pizza, we have 85 pesos. 
And then, so for the summary, so on the example, PowerPoint presentation or the PDF presentation, uh, I told you to include the column for profit. So in order to get the profit, you just need to subtract the actual selling price versus the actual cost. So again, this actual cost is the total of all the cost of ingredients you use in your dish. Now, with this case, this is first slice. So the actual cost is 51.125 and then the actual selling price is 125 pesos. So 121 pesos, okay. So 121 pesos minus 55.125. So that's how we derive for the profit. And then for this markup percentage, this is given. So based on the ceiling of 300%. Okay. Markup percentage for food. So same treatment with the beverage. So but for the beverage, we have a 500% ceiling. So this is for food. Okay. And then for the beverage, we have 500% ceiling. Mark up percentage. Okay. okay. So this is how you compute for the profit. So you will tab tabulate or you will uh, do this in tabular manner as you can see on the example, okay? So I hope you learned something and if you want to ask uh, any question, just uh, inform me. Thank you and stay safe everyone.